Today's number six with cheese video is very special because Dan Hunt, a Patreon monthly winner, a longtime fan of the show, told us instead of taking the $25 gift card, he wanted us to go to Meatheads. Mm. So today we are headed to, apparently this is like a chain-ish. We're going to Meatheads for a custom burger. Here we go. We're in a strip mall. I repeat, we're in a strip mall. Where am I, back in Ohio? All right, Sprint. No thank you, I like my phone to work. Supercuts, now I like my haircuts to work. Nail Spa, yeah, I'm fine with that. Meatheads. Meathead. Meatheads. Meathead. Huh? My shirt says eat a bitch, I'm really self-conscious. Yeah. Dude, I got double checked this weekend for the <laughs> Like it like started to walk away and like, hey, can you come back and show me that? Two delicious jalapeno bacon avocado burgers with a little aioli and mustard. Boom. Acquired jump cut. Look at the amount of things that we got on this, dude. It's it's make your own, and we just really went for it. We got the exact same thing together because we're homies. Hopefully Dan Hunt approved. Look at what they do for bacon. Bacon! 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 You guys are weird. How much was this? This was pretty expensive. This right. was... Whoa. So there's premium toppings, like if you get bacon or avocado, avocado it's a dollar each thing. Yeah, there was one other item. But there was a lot of free items. That a you lot could, of free items. Which is really cool. This was, oh. for two of them, Eighteen forty-five. No fries, no drink. So nine so, bucks, nine bucks a burger. That's a pretty expensive burger. You know, you go to DMK or any of the premier spots in town. Right. Now, granted, this is just so exactly what you want. Even at DMK, when off. they have options, you can't necessarily get exactly what you want. Right. I can't get an avocado bacon aioli burger there. I don't right. think they have that on the menu. Right. So, you know. It's not, un it's not the most unreasonable. Not at all. Though. I'm excited to see what it looks like. So Dan told us that you can find these, like, they're all over the country, I guess. And we have one in Chicago, and this is the one. I had just never... I had never heard of it. Uh-uh. So about. this is our first look. Corey Wagner, second angle. First off, I will like to say, I love the burger to go by. Yeah, a little Earth Choice. This is awesome. Same material used at Chicago Diner. Yep. It was Earth Choice. Yeah. Uh, open her up. Wow. Ooh. Good looking bun. Yeah. The red peppers we got on there yeah. look fresh as can be. The grilled onions I can see looks ultra delicious. Wow. The bacon looks, actually it looks like pretty good little fresh bacon. Mm -hmm. This all looks like really fresh stuff and it looks like the burgers might be um, like uh, flat iron, or flat grill. Yeah, like the smash burgers. Smash burgers a little bit. And then underneath you can see, oh wow, they loaded up man. Fresh jalapenos, not yep. pickled. Right. Uh, avocado looking good and plentiful, and just all in all, this looks like they uh, like a well built burger. It really does. It really does. So, so good job. It's, if you're down for a little bit more of an expensive burger, if this ends up being good, this fills a different niche. Yeah. Than something like a McDonald's burger. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? And it's right next to like a Chipotle. I almost feel like this is like the Chipotle style of burger. Absolutely. This is looking fantastic. Dude, dude, no other word to describe it. Well, I guess there are other adjectives, but why use them? <laughs> I can already tell you, how, the bun is so soft. This smells incredible. The beef, I mean, everything you said. Yeah. Like, there's no way this is going to be bad. No way. God, look at that melty cheese, Right? Man. They really melt the cheese up. And they don't oh. slack on the cheese, too. Two slices of cheese, one for every piece of burger meat, which it looks like it comes standard as a double, which is awesome, too. Yeah, this is the Sean and Corey Customized uh, meathead. Meathead. I had to look. I almost called it a smash burger because I'm a bit of an idiot. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Wow. That's a big thing to bite into. I it's like that. It's so soft. Mm hmm It's just like, it all meshes together so well. The fresh ingredients you can get a good vibe for. Mm-hmm. And by, by no means is this a dry burger. Mm -mm. This thing has juicy. Mm. Big camera. Do your thing. Wow. Whoa, whoa, wee, wow, whoa. Those peppers, jalapeno and reds, are so fresh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, like biting into those, it's just a really, really fresh bite. Yeah, and I really, I'm digging that aioli. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Dan Hunt. Hey, down in the comments, can we get you guys shouting out Dan Hunt? Just a little thanks Dan Hunt in the comments would be awesome. This is, this guy crushed it again, of course. Duh, Dan yeah. Hunt the man. Make Dan's day. Even if you don't know him, give Dan a compliment. Mm -hmm. Tell him something cool. 
give him a little, give him a little something to read down below. Yeah, uh, right. That's right. Wow, this is nuts. This is so good. We're laughing because this is right across the street from like one of the biggest high schools in Chicago. And it was just like high school hangout in that place, dude. Oh yeah, we're here right around high school lunchtime. I think we talked about this on the show, but you could leave your campus in high school for lunch. We weren't allowed to. We weren't allowed to be there. Oh, okay. But there were schools who could. Mm -hmm. Like my brother could. Yeah, we weren't allowed to. Those toppings are about probably what I almost get every time. Yeah. Other than, I'd be very interested in exploring a lot of those different sauces. Me too. This is only the aioli and mustard. There's some cool sauces on there. I'd probably switch up the toppings if I was getting, like, say, a mm -hmm. uh, barbecue. But that would be interesting to try, you know? Yeah. I really love that you can do whatever you want. Me too. Really good concept. I feel like they should all be like that. Mm hmm Say what you will about Subway, man. They kind of started that, didn't they? I mean, just the whole, like, get whatever you want on it. It's right in front of you. And we'll charge you a flat rate, basically. But yeah. Wow. Yeah, I wonder if they're like fries and stuff are good. I just you don't really mm. you don't need more than this if you're like just craving a burger. Oh, that's a big burger. Wow. I love avocado. It's so great. It's a nice little cooling touch. This was and I'm getting a little kick now from those jalapenos. Fresh jalapenos are just game on. Who's your favorite meathead? Brian or lacquer probably. So an I, not a Y. Who who decided that? My mom. He's in every non, what is it? It's the Rogaine of Chicago ads. Yeah, hair he's on every. He's on every hair restoration billboard in the city of Chicago. But uh. He's got <laughs> hair! I got hair. Linebacker, I saw him on Legend. News, or maybe it was on Reddit. But either way, uh, I think he has to go through like a suing process because other hair restoration companies started using his picture. <laughs> in high school, one of uh, the linemen on my football team was sleeping and we nared his ass. You know what is? I'm not, that's not what my brain is churning. It's that your friends are just sleeping butthole out. We pulled his pants down. He's, I say passed mm. out, or uh, asleep. I mean blacked out. So in high school, right, we like, he was asleep. Like he's blacked out, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know, high school boys, they're up to anything. You know, it's, you know. So we pull his pants down. I was just an observer. I was not much of a prankster in high school. I would watch, though. And they took it, and they nailed A only. voyeur. And, and what it has to do with sexual, voyeur. Of sexual nature, I, I think that makes you that. a voyeur. Uh, pull his pants down and they nared only one of his butt cheeks. He was a very hairy guy. So he had a hairy butt cheek and then a smooth butt cheek. And he woke up the next day and he goes, my ass feels really weird. And we all laughed for an hour and a half. The man had one hairy butt cheek and one completely smooth butt cheek. I'm still trying to crunch the process of someone <laughs> pulling on uh, his pants down. Uh, man, I can't wait till you get Kavanaugh at some sort of hearing and they, oh my God. they bring this out. Oh man, so how, so they, how they pulled his pants down. I like beer. While he was asleep. You know, high school kids, we never know what they're gonna do. Yeah, this is a real, I didn't necessarily share those experiences with Sean in my high school, but. I'm not 100% sure <clears throat> this should make it in the edit. One time I pranked a guy, we uh, we shaved one of his eyebrows. Really? Yeah, that doesn't involve uh, Did he know being near around his groin or butthole. <laughs> it's kind of the, our thought process. We're like, how can we mess with this passed out guy without kind of touching his butthole, you know, or taking right. his pants off. Right. If we can keep him not being naked right. and still prank him, that was like our kind of our goal there. Yeah. <laughs> Similar situation, I, I got the wake up part being the best part. Yeah. I sleep next to the bathroom, the downstairs bathroom, and I wake up to hearing him, him in the bathroom, and I hear him peeing. I hear the trickling, you know, and I'm, I know what's coming, and then I hear the hand washing, and then I'm waiting for the look in the mirror, and then I just hear, what the <laughs> And now I have, to, I have to pretend like I don't know what's going on, and my bedroom's the one next to it. He might as well have damn near kicked my door down. Boom, dude, what the hell? And I, I, go, I go, I have to look at this shaved ass, this man with one eyebrow, and go, what? <laughs> you pretend like I don't know what's going on. He's like, oh, uh, my eyebrow! And I'm like, what's wrong with it? I have to pretend, he's like, dude, it's gone! It's gone! I'm like, oh yeah, that's weird, I don't know. And uh. Yeah, he was pretty pissed. He just left in a very big anger. I feel like that's worse than the thing we did. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, to get back at the guy that started that, the guy that got his butt nared, mm -hmm. he saran wrapped uh, the dude's car, car? so he couldn't that. open the door. Yeah. And, you, and it was so much saran wrap, it took him literally. Oh, and you put dish soap all over it, mm. so it's really slippery. Yeah. 
But yeah, took the kid about four and a half hours to get his car out. You guys don't have scissors in Redford? Oh, what oh what else did they do? They took all the scissors and knives out of the house. And they they did something else where like it was impossible to cut. <clears throat> like you couldn't cut it. You had to like Dang dude. They were relentless, bro. Send we both went to all guys high schools. And, no, and they don't teach you about scissors there. <laughs> Am I the worst person to tell stories to ever? Yeah. <laughs> Man, you're eating that whole thing, huh? I'm done the rest of the day. It's so good. It's probably, it was hard for me to put it down. I know. I just like, I'm so hungry. Mm. All right, let's rate this. Yeah, dude. Also, Dan Hunt, big shout out. Thank you so much for donating. Essentially, he won the gift card and he said, you know what, screw that. I don't want 25 bucks. I'm selfless, bro. He's like a monk. He's like, he might as well be Pope Dan the Hunt. He's very Pope Dan the Hunt. Pope Dan the Hunt said, you know what? My brothers, I think sometimes a lot of, I see priest pictures, they do this thing. You ever see this? My brother. My brother. I bless you with uh, meatheads. That's what he said. And he said, you yeah. know what, Dan? We'd love to do that for you. That's, bro. Plus, I don't even notice. We got our shirts on. We're just doing all kinds of shout outs today. Eat it, bitch. It's always good. Out of five bottles of dish soap, how many bottles of dish soap do you give the custom Meatheads Burger today, Corey Wagner? All right, full transparency for all our folks out there who might be getting this. Uh, it is about nine, ten bucks for just a burger, no fries, no drink. A little bit on the pricer end. You could knock two dollars off that real easy by not getting avocado and not getting bacon. But then you have a burger without. Still amazing. Then you have a burger without avocado and That's bacon. That's true. I would still. It's worth the two dollars for me. Mm -hmm. But I think it would still be great without those if you wanted to save a couple bucks. For sure. Uh, and even with that price being said, to me that was absolutely fantastic. I love that I can make my own decisions and really go for it. I love that it was all fresh, and I love that it's a double. I love that it's built well. I love that there's a lot of cheese. But all that being said, bro, that's a five to me. What? Dude, that is amazing, bro. Wow. That is amazing. I know, I know. I really love the build your own technique. I, I, I that's why at Euromania I lose my mind, stuff like that. Yeah. I think yeah, that everything you said is dead on. I'm just, it was very shocking for yeah. me to hear you say a perfect score. I know, dude. It's a shocking moment. Yeah. Well, that's how I genuinely feel, dude. It was that It was that good, and I don't I don't have anything I can take away from it. I can't wait to try some of the other options. To try wow, some other you're going to go back to a Meatheads? I might, dude. That was really good. I love, I'm a sucker for build your own spots. Yeah. I really am, because I like just throwing random crap. Like, you don't get avocado, bacon, jalapeno, aioli burgers. You'll get that anywhere. I love that. That's a good point. When I cook at home, mm -hmm. I'm always just mixing random things. You've seen me do it, you know. Right, I like just, right. I love throwing a bunch of crap on a thing I love. Um, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I'm just leaving room because maybe some more build your own burger places are going to pop up. That's the truth. And But right now, I mean, there's nothing like that. That I, that in Chicago at least, like a quick in and out counter service incredible double build your own burger for nine dollars we've gotten those smokehouse burgers and the specialty burgers from mcdonald's and after tax and everything it's seven and a half eight bucks right so like this i mean work a little harder and get 10 bucks yeah um, i'm gonna give it a 4.9 i totally think that's an acceptable score and it could be a five it's just if i, like I give, even if a I give me bro. as a five that means that Nobody could do that better, or better doesn't exist yet, or I've never had better for that price point. And I don't, is that know, not I don't true? know. Like, is that I, not true? You, I'm gonna, I'm you gonna said have you're to go leaving back room for future, but now you just said that you've never had it up I to this know. point. That's I where I'm going. I'm going yeah. up to this point. I want to try. You just talked yourself into a five, bro. Things that you just counter argued yourself. Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it a four nine. I feel really good about that score. The fact that you don't—that's not a burger that you have to wait more than two minutes for. That's no, kind of nuts. Super quick. But I do agree. I think it's fair to leave space, but I think the disclaimer has to be that you're leaving space for future experiences, not right, that it's based off true. of up to this I'm trying point to in think your of, life. Because like if I think because this is also like a chain. Like so like for example, like you can't put that against like anything other than like a red hot ranch. Because Red Hot Ranch in Chicago is the same type of thing. You order at the counter, you get it in a couple minutes, and it's the most insane burger I've had in Chicago local. But this is also, I think, a franchise, right? It's franchise, so like, and it's so Red Hot Ranch in Chicago is better. But yeah, this has way more <clears throat> options. So I, you know, customizable, customability, customado, customado. customado. Yeah. We'll training. see you guys tomorrow good for training. another customado video. We look forward to seeing you see us once again for another video as we approach 700 wow. videos on this channel. Wow. For a thousand, I'm gonna kill myself. 
Okay, well, it took a turn. <laughs>